Rally Greece and round eight of the World Rally Championship. It marks the roughest, hottest event of the year. 16 stages in total and a spectacular start in front of a packed house. 60,000 fans piled into the Olympic Stadium in Athens for stage one. Esapek Alapi very lucky to get away with this overshoot, while Thierry Neuville set the early pace. Obviously, it's like it should always be. Such crowds and a great atmosphere, and I mean, really congratulations to the organizers as well to put it in place for us and for all the spectators who have come today. So that's great, and it shows again an example that it's possible to still bring the crowds to the WRC. Friday's action sees six stages split only by a tyre fitting zone with service at the end of the day, looking after the car absolutely vital. Championship leader Kalirov Ampera first in and as expected he dropped time opening the road. For those coming behind hanging dust was proving to be a real issue. Thierry Neuville the most vocal about the situation. You have no visibility. Suddenly stiff gear full flat out suddenly you see nothing and you don't know where you are. And you cry like you are dying. It's it's unbelievable. We, we asked for more minutes between the cars. We knew the sun was low. We knew there was hanging dust. We knew there was no wind. And everybody did this Nine times world champion Sebastian Loeb back in the M Sport Ford Puma this weekend and back with a bang. Quickest on the opening stage, eight tenths up on Pierre-Louis Loubet and he was our new rally leader. It was a good stage but really not easy. Uh... It's uh, the sun, the dust, and very slippery in some places. So uh, I did a good stage. Uh, some little alert with the brakes, uh, maybe overheating a bit, but uh, but uh, no big problem at all. So it was okay. While Rovan Pera and Tanak continue to be hampered by low grip levels from opening the road, Loeb was not another fastest stage time. His lead, 2.7 seconds over Neuville. The momentum continued on stage four. Loeb sharing the fastest time with Esapek Alapi. Neuville only managed sixth fastest and dropped down the order, which meant the Frenchman's lead was up to 6.4 seconds. But it was short-lived. He outbraked himself into this hairpin on stage five and dropped nearly 10 seconds. It was Pierre-Louis Loubet who capitalised, a milestone for the young driver. He took his first ever stage win and the lead of the rally by 1.9 seconds, all in one hit. And there are the boards. This is looking good and yes. it is. WRC stage win number one for Pierre-Louis Loubet. Ah, that's good. It was close so many times this year and uh, we deserve this one. So thank you. And he didn't stop there. Esapek Alapi set the early pace on stage six, but Loubet's response was instant. The Frenchman taking another stage win and extending his lead to nearly eight seconds. Just a final stage to run, and elsewhere, Kalerov and Pera ended the day down in ninth. He's hoping to get his charge underway tomorrow with a better road position. Oit Tanak lies sixth, just behind Danny Sordo and Thierry Neuville. But up at the front, it's been a spectacular day for M Sport. Sadly, Loubet dropped 10 seconds on the final stage with a brake issue, which means it's Loeb who leaves, but by only 1.7 seconds from his M Sport teammate, with Esapek Alapi seven seconds further back. He is nine times world champion for a reason. Sebastian Loeb leads the WRC once again. I decided to, to try really hard in this one because uh, I was losing too much time in the, in the previous one. I, I didn't feel so confident, so yeah, so I said, okay, I need to finish on a good rhythm. Having Loeb there to ask questions and, and Seb's very open with, with the other drivers and very help, helps them a lot and, and you know, they're helping him. So despite the difference in, uh, in championships and uh, amount of rallies won, you know, it's a, it's a big... 
uh, community where they're all sharing information between each other and, and you know it's come together to show that's working and we've had an incredibly strong day. Has a star been born today? Pierre-Louis Loubet trails the very best the sport has ever seen by just 1.7 seconds. Another six rough, tough stages to run tomorrow. Can he or Esepeka Lappi do something about Loeb on day two of the Acropolis Rally?